and the uh, to understand the inflammation so i will explain first cellular injury human uh, <coughs> human human pathology is manifested at the cellular or, uh, and organ level cell survival depends on the maintenance of a homeostasis or stable internal environment which requires a constant supply of metabolic energy and active transport process prior to the microscopic appearance of the cell injury critical alteration of the basic biochemical pathways must occur when this homeostatic state is disturbed the cell first adapt to the change if the cell is unable to fully adapt cell injury ensure injury is at first reversible but may progress ultimately to irreversible injury and cell death the ability of cell or organ to tolerate injury depends on the severity duration and type of insult as well as the adaptive capacity of the tissues now i will explain the causes of the injuries number 1 hypoxia hypoxia or lack of oxygen leads to the mobility of the cell to maintain energy in the form of atp the loss of atp production has a multiple consequences hypoxia can result from loss of blood supply uh, like ischemia due to decrease arterial flow a decrease in oxygen carrying capacity of the blood due to the anemia or carbon monoxide poisoning like uh, co producers a uh, stable complex with hemoglobin blocking uh, oxygen transportation or uh, poisoning of the enzymes of oxidative phosphorylations by toxins such as cyanides then second cause is chemical injury chemical injury can leads to a, a disruption of physical structure of the cell or to a breakdown of biochemical process of uh, the cell for example chemical can alter main, uh, membranes permeability or block the action of an enzymes by binding either to the enzymes or to its cofactors third uh, cause is physical injury includes uh, physical in, uh, injury includes mechanical trauma such as uh, crush injury or gunshot wounds burns uh, heat frostbite by cold radiation and pressure changes fourth cause is uh, infection infection encompasses a wide range of problems including bacterial fungal parasites and viral organism virtually all aspect of cellular metabolism can be affected by the these biological agents various invade cells uh, can uh, elaborate proteins uh, that are toxic to the host cell and cellular metabolism bacteria uh, bacteria can release exotoxin for example phospholipase or produce <coughs> endotoxin for example lipopolysaccharides from their cell walls other agents such as parasites can cause the host to initiate a cellular for example uh, during telis macrophages or uh, <coughs> or immunological reaction to the invaders fifth cause of immunological reactions eh? although the uh, immune response is tightly regulated it can result in injury as manifested by an anaphylactic reactions or autoimmune diseases sixth cause uh, 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 genetic disorders which leads to biochemical abnormalities can leads to the accumulations of toxin product or the inability to metabolize 
various compounds due to enzymes, defects, for example, cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia. In addition, uh, rearrangement of genes can uh, predispose individual to cause uh, individual to cancer by altering our, uh, normal cellular homeostasis. Seventh cause, uh, nutritional or vitamins deficiencies, for example, berberis, scurvies, hypervitaminosis, uh, especially vitamin A, B, and D, inadequate calories intake like um, rasmus, or inadequate proteins intake wash cores. Eighth cause or aging. Aging can lead to the breakdown of normal cellular machinery, ultimately leading to death of the cell. Now, uh, I think uh, uh, everybody can understand what is a, a cellular injury. Now I will explain, uh, the, the, explain the definition of uh, inflammation. The, the reaction of the limbing tissues to injury infection caused by irritant. So it is a defensive mechanism which, uh, uh, which is activated when, when there is a uh, cellular injury appears. So uh, are you listening? Yes, sir. Hello. 